You can tell a good director in about five minutes. Doesn't take longer. If you've been around at all, you spot a, a, a director in five minutes. Richard Widmark, best known for his intense and complex roles during the golden age of film noir, left an indelible mark on American cinema. A man of many talents, Richard rose to fame in 1947 following his memorable portrayal of the character Tommy Udo in the movie Kiss of Death. His role as a sadistic gangster was so iconic that it earned him an Oscar nomination. But did you know there are three other iconic roles that the actor could have played? Moreover, have you heard what the actor had to say about his career in cinema before he passed away? If you're curious to learn more about the actor and the answers to these questions, it would be wise to continue watching to discover more. Richard Widmark, born on December 26, 1914, in the picturesque Sunrise Township, Minnesota, was the first son of Carl Henry Widmark and Ethel May Widmark. His father, Carl, was a businessman involved in sales and education, while his mother, Ethel, expressed her creativity by working as an illustrator. In this solidly rooted family, young Richard was taught the values of hard work, dedication, and a passion for art, lessons that would shape his entire career. Growing up in the small town in Minnesota provided Richard with an ideal environment to develop his imagination and creativity. Although details about his early years are less documented, it is known that the warm and supportive family atmosphere was a crucial factor in shaping his aspirations. The Widmark family, while not excessively wealthy, placed a strong emphasis on values, education, and personal development, encouraging Richard to follow his passions and aspire to greatness. The arrival of his brother, Donald, brought new joy to the Widmark family, with Richard being a protective and caring sibling. This close family bond was a cornerstone in his life. During his high school years, Richard Widmark discovered a passion for theater, a pursuit that guided his higher education choices. After graduating from high school, Widmark attended Lake Forest College in Illinois, where he deeply engaged in theatrical activities, performing in numerous plays and honing his acting skills. At Lake Forest, he majored in speech and theater, reflecting his passion for the performing arts and his ambition to pursue an acting career. His education wasn't confined to stage performances. It also encompassed an in-depth study of speech techniques and acting. His graduation in 1936 marked not just the end of his academic journey, but also the beginning of a luminous acting career that would transition from the stage to the big screen. At the outset of his career, Richard Widmark didn't head straight for the Hollywood spotlights. After college graduation, he devoted himself to theater and radio. Widmark had a significant career in radio, a medium where he developed and refined the skills that helped him become a successful actor. In the 1940s, radio was one of the main entertainment mediums and Widmark worked as an actor in numerous radio shows, covering a wide range of genres from drama to mystery and comedy. During the war, Widmark was stationed in the United States, where he worked for an army radio station contributing to the production of radio programs aimed at boosting troop morale. His activity in radio was a reflection of his interests and abilities. Already being a theater and radio actor before being recruited, his experience during military service didn't involve direct action on the battlefield, but provided a valuable contribution to the war efforts, using the power of communication and entertainment to support morale and provide information to American soldiers. Radio, on the other hand, offered him the opportunity to explore various genres and styles, contributing to his versatility as an actor. Widmark's rise in the film industry was marked by his debut in the 1947 film Kiss of Death, where his portrayal of a psychopathic gangster garnered critical acclaim and an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. This role set a precedent for the types of characters Widmark would portray throughout his career, often complex and nuanced. Richard Widmark's success in the film industry was remarkable and diversified. Following his impressive debut in Kiss of Death, Widmark solidified his status in Hollywood, appearing in a variety of genres, from thrillers to westerns and dramas. His roles were often characterized by intensity and complexity, reflecting impressive psychological depths that captivated both audiences and critics. One of the hallmark roles of Richard Widmark's career was in Judgment at Nuremberg in 1961, where his profound performance added depth and gravity to the historical film. Additionally, his appearances in westerns like Yellow Sky, 1948, 
where he portrayed Dude, a young and impulsive member of a gang of outlaws, stood out. His character in Yellow Sky is notable for its greed and volatility, adding significant tension to the group's dynamics and the story's evolution. In Warlock 1959, Widmark played Johnny Gannon, a former outlaw who becomes the sheriff of Warlock, further showcasing his ability to navigate between hero and anti-hero roles, leaving a lasting impression in cinematic history. Widmark collaborated with director Samuel Fuller on the film Pick Up on South Street, 1953, a notable noir thriller and one of Fuller's most renowned works. In this film, Widmark played Skip McCoy, a pickpocket entangled in a complex web of espionage during the Cold War. His intense and layered performance added depth to the film, demonstrating the creative chemistry between him and Fuller. This collaboration was crucial in creating a tense and engaging film that was well-received by critics and has become a classic of the genre. Beyond his acting talent, Widmark also had a deep passion for photography and literature, influencing his career and artistic interests. In 1961, he expanded his artistic horizons by making his directorial debut with The Secret Ways, showcasing his desire to explore various forms of artistic expression and leave a personal mark on the stories he told. Widmark's interest in photography allowed him to capture unique moments and perspectives, likely influencing how he viewed and interpreted scripts and characters in films. Photography, as a visual expression medium, can provide a deeper understanding of composition and lighting, essential in filmmaking. His directorial debut with The Secret Ways demonstrated not only his technical and artistic abilities, but also his desire to control a project's narrative and artistic vision. Through directing, Widmark had the opportunity to blend his interests in literature and photography, enhancing his storytelling and creative expression. Richard Widmark, while best known for his career in film, also had connections with Broadway, the theatrical stage where many actors refine their craft and demonstrate their versatility. Before making his film debut, Widmark was involved in theater, including Broadway productions, providing him with a solid foundation in acting and a deep respect for the theatrical arts. On Broadway, Widmark appeared in several plays before definitively turning to cinematography. These early stage experiences allowed him to directly experiment with the audience, respond in real time to their reactions, and develop a wide range of acting skills. Although his filmography cemented him as a star, his Broadway experiences were crucial in shaping his approach to acting, contributing to his adaptability and the depth of his performances. His roles on Broadway involved a variety of genres and characters, allowing him to explore different facets of human nature and deepen his ability to build complex characters. This theatrical foundation evidently influenced his acting style. While specific details about his Broadway roles are less known than his cinematic achievements, his contribution to theater remains an important part of his artistic legacy. The impact of the characters portrayed by Richard Widmark on the audience and the film industry was profound and enduring. His portrayal of complex and often dark characters significantly influenced how villains and morally ambiguous heroes were perceived and depicted in cinema. Through his role as Tommy Udo in Kiss of Death, Widmark redefined the archetype of antagonists in post-war cinema. His psychopathic character with a disturbing laugh and fearless cruelty set a new standard for the complexity and realism of villains on screen. This character influenced generations of actors and directors, expanding the boundaries of what could be explored regarding human nature in film. Widmark's performances in film noir, starting with his debut, contributed to the genre's evolution adding layers of psychological depth and morality. His characters often had a complexity that made them difficult to label simply as good or evil, reflecting the moral ambiguities of the real world and influencing the audience's perception of heroism and villainy. Widmark's characterizations resonated strongly with the audience, providing viewers with a window into aspects of the human condition that were not often explored in cinema at the time. Through his characters, Widmark challenged the audience to explore themes of morality, guilt, and redemption, bringing emotional authenticity that enriched the cinematic experience. His approach to acting, characterized by nuance and intensity, influenced actors of subsequent generations. Widmark demonstrated that a negative or complex character could be as captivating and essential to the story as the traditional hero, inspiring actors to embrace challenging roles and bring new dimensions to their performances. Through his significant contributions, 
Richard Widmark left an indelible mark on cinema, shaping how characters and stories are presented and perceived in films, and influencing how actors approach their craft. Throughout his career, Richard Widmark received numerous accolades and recognition for his contribution to the film industry. Although he never won an Oscar, he was nominated for Best Supporting Actor for his impressive debut in Kiss of Death. This nomination was an early indicator of his powerful impact on cinema. Beyond the Oscar nomination, Widmark received other awards and honors that acknowledged his talent and contributions to the art of acting. For instance, he was awarded the Silver Bear for Best Actor at the Berlin International Film Festival for his role in the 1957 film St. Joan. Widmark was also honored for his entire career and impact on the industry. In 1990, he was awarded the Cecil B. DeMille Award for Outstanding Contributions to the World of Entertainment, an honorary award presented by the Hollywood Foreign Press Association. Richard Widmark was honored with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, recognizing his remarkable contribution to the film industry. His star, located at 6800 Hollywood Boulevard, was unveiled in January 1960, marking the official acknowledgement of his talent and impact on cinema. The Hollywood Walk of Fame is one of the most well-known symbols of honoring achievements in the entertainment industry. And having a star there is a sign of success and appreciation from peers and the public. Being honored with a star on this famous boulevard not only immortalizes an actor's name in Hollywood's history, but also represents a form of appreciation for their contribution to film and television art. While awards and nominations are significant recognitions, Widmark's impact on cinema goes beyond trophies and accolades. He was a pioneer in portraying complex and nuanced characters, influencing generations of actors and contributing to the narrative evolution of film. Richard Widmark and Jean Hazelwood formed a union starting in 1942, which lasted until Jean's passing in 1997. Jean was a constant presence in Widmark's life, providing support throughout the oops and downs of his film career. She had a career as a screenwriter, suggesting she had a creative side that likely complemented and supported Widmark's work. Richard and Jean had a daughter, Anne Heath Widmark, who chose to pursue an artistic path, becoming a painter and author. The presence of a maternal figure like Jean and her influence, both professionally and personally, undoubtedly played a significant role in shaping Anne's career development and orientations. One of the toughest challenges Widmark faced was his wife Jean Hazelwood's illness. Her suffering was undoubtedly a difficult period for him, requiring emotional strength and dedication to stand by her side. Widmark's family life, including his relationship with his first wife and the experience of being a parent, was an essential aspect of his existence, providing a foundation of stability and normality in contrast to his public life in the film industry. His long marriage to Jean and his role in raising and educating their daughter Anne are key elements reflecting his commitment to family life, despite his busy career and life in the limelight. In 1999, Richard Widmark married Susan Blanchard, who was well known in social circles and had previous connections to the entertainment industry through her former marriage to Henry Fonda. Susan Blanchard, the daughter of Dorothy Hammerstein and stepdaughter of Oscar Hammerstein thus, was a notable figure, and her marriage to Widmark brought together two prominent personalities from the world of arts and entertainment. This union came two years after the death of Widmark's first wife, John, marking a new chapter in the actor's personal life. Their marriage lasted until Widmark's death in 2008. Richard Widmark, though most renowned for his film career, also engaged in activism particularly concerning social and political causes. He wasn't an activist in the traditional sense, but he held strong opinions on various social and political issues which he did not hesitate to express. A notable aspect of his activism was his involvement in civil rights issues. Widmark was an outspoken critic of racism and supported the civil rights movement in America, a significant stance during the 1960s and 1970s when the movement was at its peak. He also engaged in campaigns for gun control and the rights of Native Americans, reflecting a social conscience that extended beyond his on-screen roles. His activism was largely personal and less public, aligning with his reserved nature and desire to keep some distance between his personal life and public persona. While his activism might not have been as visible as that of other celebrities, it played a role in drawing attention to significant issues, utilizing his platform and influence to support causes he believed in. Thus, alongside his cinematic legacy, 
Widmark also left behind an example of civic engagement and support for crucial social values. Richard Widmark, while primarily renowned for his contributions to cinema, also demonstrated a keen interest in philanthropy, particularly concerning health and education-related causes. A standout aspect of his philanthropic efforts was his support for the Southwest Harbor Hospital in Maine. Widmark, along with his wife, Jean, were significant supporters of the hospital, contributing to the enhancement of medical services available to the community. In addition to healthcare support, Widmark also exhibited a strong commitment to education. He was actively involved in promoting education and encouraged young people to pursue higher education, emphasizing the critical role of education in personal and professional development. In his later years, Richard Widmark chose a life away from the hustle and bustle of Hollywood, retreating to his home in Roxbury, Connecticut. This period of his life was marked by a gradual withdrawal from the film industry, as he preferred to dedicate his time to personal interests and family life. After an extensive and successful career in cinematography, Widmark did not appear in any films after 1991, opting to enjoy a quieter pace of life. Known for his passion for nature, it is said that he spent much time enjoying the landscape and tranquility his home offered. His relationship with his second wife, Susan Blanchard, also characterized this period of his life. His marriage to Susan in 1999 brought a new beginning and emotional comfort to his personal life, contributing to his happiness and balance in his later years. Though he stepped away from acting, Widmark remained a respected and appreciated figure in the cinematic world, often mentioned and celebrated for his significant contributions to the industry. Interest and appreciation for his work did not wane, and his films continued to be watched and analyzed by cinephiles and critics alike. Thus, the later years of Richard Widmark's life were characterized by peace, introspection, and a dedication to private life, marking a distinct and serene chapter in his long personal and professional journey. Richard Widmark passed away on March 24, 2008, at the age of 93, in his Roxbury, Connecticut home. His death marked the end of an era in American cinema leaving behind an impressive legacy and a model of integrity and dedication to the film industry. At the time of his passing, the cinematic community and his fans expressed their deep respect and appreciation for his contributions, recalling his iconic roles and the impact he had on cinema. Richard Widmark was a true screen legend whose legacy continues to inspire and influence actors and cinephiles around the world.